Welcome back, Gadgeteers. Just a very short video. There's three things I want to cover. One is how I'm feeling lately. Two is what I'm going to be dropping pretty soon as far as videos go. And three, what I've been up to with Caden Live. The first one, I've been doing pretty well. I had a little bit of a setback um, a week or so ago, and I don't know what it was. It might have been related to a very tiny little small workout that I did but I'm working with my doctors to figure that out uh, for those of you who don't know I have a video available that you can check out about dilated cardiomyopathy and specifically my type of DCM is called non-compaction which is a birth defect anyway let's move on from that so what are we doing now well Pretty quick here, I'm going to drop a Linux video. Give me a couple days. It might take a few minutes to edit it, but I think you're going to like it quite a lot. Third topic. So check this out. Let me see if I can switch over. There we go. So I've been working on file size in my Linux videos, the final export video that I'm going to upload to YouTube. The problem is I've actually downgraded my internet connection uh, to try to save some money. I was paying $89.95. It got jacked up to $92.95 a month. So I took it down to a 100 megabit download, which really doesn't have much of an effect on it, and a 5 megabit upload. So I used to have 20 megabits upload. 300 megabits download so it's definitely going to be quite a difference and I've got to figure out a way to save as much space as I can in the files that I generate so I wanted to show you the settings I'm going to use in Kden Live and what happened when I did test render so let's check this out so you can see here I've got a whole bunch of different renders that I did and the time it took to do each render to be honest, I'm probably going to go with this one, but let's have a look at the file sizes. So basically, when you look at each of these files, you can see the highest one was the normal 1080p to H.264 encoder render that I would do. So the problem with this was um, quite frankly it was just too large now this video that we're talking about here the test video that I used is only about 1 minute 15 seconds long it's not very long at all so the next one I tried was WebM which is kind of like an open standard H.264 very similar and I thought that's really nice and then I tried the H.265 and of course as you can imagine it compressed even better because it's used on 4k ultra high definition blu-ray to compress the data down as much as possible but still fit on the disk um, so when we upload 4k videos or even 1080p and we want to get the maximum amount of compression without being noticeable H.265 is really the best. Now, there is a setting here in Caden Live, which is the encoder speed. And the slower the encoder speed, believe it or not, the larger the file becomes, which makes sense because I believe what's happening is the quality is improved only slightly. So look at the difference between encoder and well, actually, let's go up here to H.265. Uh, video quality 25, 17 megabytes. Video quality 25 with the encoder at the slowest, 26 megabytes. So it's definitely going to look a lot better. However, then we have the encoder set for the fastest setting. And surprisingly, it comes down to 14.8 megabytes in the final file now when I go back and look at each one of these files I can just barely tell a difference between these ones 
and this file here which is a quality level of 15 which is the highest quality possible so a one minute file at about 105 megabytes versus using the setting of 25 for quality about 14 megabytes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this little video we did here I'm gonna edit it together and I'm gonna upload it we're gonna see how it looks I'm gonna use this setting right here very curious to see how long it'll be for a five or ten minute video don't forget that Linux video is dropping soon, the next two days, three days, maybe sooner if I can get it done. I'm going to do a bunch of editing tomorrow, but right now I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Thanks for watching. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fastgadgets.